Once more, welcome back to Still Life, this time for part 9, and we're starting chapter 5. And to start chapter 5, I think what we need to do is follow Miller back to the campus area, because according to him, Vaclav uh, Kolar's prints are a match, so we'll be heading back to his apartment. But I want to find my dad first. I want to know his opinion on the cookies, because I didn't sort of... <laughs> I didn't lockpick my way back to modern-day Chicago to receive no thank you, you know? I mean, I, I want to know his opinion, so... This was a dining room, I believe, right. Okay, he's not here. What's this? Oh, something about the chairs? I thought he was going to change these chairs. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Each time I sit and... I don't see any cookie crumbs, so... <laughs> the cookies are probably just burnt in the oven. He probably never took them out. He probably forgot. But seriously, where is he? He could be upstairs, I guess. Or in here, maybe? In the little minibar area? No? What about the hot tub? Around there? Oh, there he is. Okay. Is that Dad? Ooh! I think I could use the toolbox. Yes. Uh, let's see. Playing Mr. Fix-It? Oh, the damn thing is broken again. Dad, call someone. The reason why it breaks all the time is because you fix it. <laughs> Just call a professional. I know what's wrong this time. You wouldn't understand, Pumpkin. It's a guy thing. It's a guy thing, apparently. So how are the cookies? Oh, yes. Just like Mom used to make. Oh, you did eat I'm them then. you like them. Yeah. I'll have a bite later. Uh, you'll have to make more. No, I bloody won't. You ate them all already? <laughs> <coughs> yes. Jeez, Dad, you could have let me have at least one. I guess they were good. Well, you know, when I get started, it's hard to stop. Great. My dad's a cookie junkie. Well, at least they were appreciated. Why did you let Miller upstairs? I called you three times. I got tired, so I let him up. Yeah, but Dad, he saw my room, Dad. Yeah, Dad. What's wrong with that? You do know I work with cops. I'll never <laughs> hear the end of it. Officer Miller seems like a nice guy. He is, Dad, but he has a cop sense of humor. Are you off again? Yes, I have to go meet up with him. Mm. I'll drop by again later to make more cookies. No, no thanks to you. Don't. Okay, sweetheart. See you soon. Save Bye, that Dad. for the sequel. Or, or something. Right. He's also got like a toolbox or something down here, or a something. I, I swear I could use something here. Ah, yes. Is there something next to the toolbox that I'm using? I'm not sure. I don't have any use for an exacto right now. All right, but maybe I will later. Okay, maybe I'll return. Uh, but I suppose for now, yeah. Let's leave this area and let's go meet up with Miller. So, looks like we have to go back to this screen to go through the door, even though I could sort of see it on the other screen, which is kind of weird. Okay, nothing new on the table. Yeah, let's just leave. Take the slippers off, put the boots on, and back to work. It is quite nice doing some genuine police work in a game, really. I mean, I know it's really simplified and everything, and some of it's basic, but there you go. Right, so let's see. There it is. Fourth time lucky. There's the campus. And it looks like Miller's already here. Okay, so let's go inside and let's have another chat with Vaclav Kolar, shall we? Alright, that woman's gone, whoever she was. Maybe she's going to be a victim. <laughs> she's going to be the uh, the sixth one. Ah, hi there. Hey, Miller. Hey. <laughs> hi. Hey, Vaclav, we need to talk to you. The cute agent is back. <laughs> What's the cute agent thing? Shh. Hey, listen. Did you hear that? What? It's probably a movie. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Actually, I think it's from the movie Clockwork Nightmare. Oh, starring Oscar. No way. This is for real. Ah, come on. It's called Suspicion of an Officer. Oh man, Victoria. Call Tate. <laughs> Crap. I will. <laughs> she just likes later. to kick doors. <laughs> oh my oh. god, Miller. You were like, absolutely right. It's like... A movie! You're not funny. We could get into serious trouble. Christ, Miller. Lighten up. Let's check out his room. Well, I haven't heard any objections, so I guess he's See? not in. I was right. It is Clockwork Nightmare. Yeah. Weird. He just left the TV on. I guess he doesn't care about his electricity bill or anything. That's fine. Right. Okay, now let's see. Let's go over this again. Do we need another bottle? Something like that? No? Uh, well, we can go into this room. I didn't try that last time. Because he was, he was printing something, wasn't he? All right. Oh, blimey. What's all this? Newspaper articles? Photos? 
This guy is twisted. Oh, huh. stop it. Did you see the pictures on the wall? Yeah, so? Gore films, crime scene photos, porno. Need I say more? Sounds like a good Friday night. You just described three quarters of adolescent America. He's harmless. We're here to ask about the prince. We aren't here for character assassination. We'll leave that part to the lawyers. I'm sure you will. Hey, we need an officer to guard a door. All right, and we're back in control, so let's have a look around this area, shall we? Uh, let's start with Above the Door. These are all newspaper clippings, I Various think. Various articles on serial killers. Right, okay. I'm wondering if this has got anything to do with his thesis that he was writing, because he was a criminology student, right? I didn't know they ever made a sequel to Clockwork Nightmare. <laughs> and maybe they shouldn't have. I think these dirty clothes have melded together to form a new life form. Form a new life form? Okay, yeah. What about over here? More? Oh, oh no, no. There might be something that we need to have a look at specifically here. Various pictures of serial killer victims. Just like above the door. Okay, is anything sticking out, that one? Various pictures of no. serial killer victims. Okay, let's just do a, you know, a cursor scan. <laughs> I'm not seeing the uh, magnifying glass change to a hand, so I don't think there's any items to pick up here. So let's back away. What about the computer? We can see a, a beautiful screensaver. Over here? Oh look, it's the award winners! Bundy, Gassy, Berkowitz, Ramirez, Fish, Ridgeway, and DeSalvo! I recognize half of those names. I probably don't want to recognize the other half, but uh, yeah, okay. Ah, what's this? Is that another porn I bet mag? if I sprayed luminol all over the bed, I'd need sunglasses just to look at it. <laughs> it's got a brighter glare than the sun, probably. Tissues there as well. Oh dear. What's that? Is that a tear in the... Oh no. Now, I've seen some pretty gross stuff during my career, but a pair of his underwear just took the number one spot. Brilliant. Okay. And what is this? Oh, we can't have a look at this? No? Okay. Uh, What's that? Luminol again? I bet. If I yeah. sprayed Luminol all over... I'll just skip that. There you go. All right. Now, um... I don't know. If there's something I need to pick up here, I don't exactly know where it is, to be perfectly honest with you. Maybe let's go speak with Miller? I mean, he was the one that came to me, right? So... Who's that? What's going on? Police business, miss. Ouch. Hello. <laughs> you must be Mia, right? You wearing a corset? Yes, and you seem to have me at a disadvantage. I'm Agent McPherson, and this is Detective Miller. You wouldn't happen to know where Vaclav might be. Actually, yes, I do. I saw him at work. He was getting a massage or taking a hot bath, whichever. Where do you work? Maybe she forgot. <laughs> where do you work? Here's my card. The address is on the back. Right. Can you check it out? I'll meet you over there. You can see he wanted sure. to. Better than being ignored. <laughs> Alright, so that's another location for me to travel to, it looks like. Do you mind if I ask what you do there? Not at all. Actually, I could show you if you'd like, because I can see all that tension in your shoulders and neck. My apartment is just a few steps away. Alright. Thanks for the offer, but I have to decline. I really need to talk to your friend Vaklov. Mm. Friend? Vaclav is a nice guy, but he's no friend. He's a neighbor at best. Alright, and we're going off topic again. Sorry to interrupt the flow of your questioning, but can I be totally blunt here? Uh, I'm not sure I want you to, but go right ahead. Are you spoken for? <laughs> <laughs> not quite what I expected, but then again, it could have been worse. To answer the question, yes, I'm spoken for. Hmm. No. Oh. How unfortunate. I don't have much time to chit-chat now, but I will contact you later. I'd like to ask you a few more questions. Any time. My offer still stands if you ever change your mind. I'll be in touch. I think she'd like that. And off she goes. Right, so she lives down the hall somewhere, does she? Okay. Oh, we've got to wait for her to get to the door. Oh, no, 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 we are <laughs> We're giving the cursor back. Oh, that's where she lives, and it looks like I can go right in. I can just follow her in, but, um... Right, she gave me a... A, 
Well, not a security card. Didn't she give me a card or something? Uh, maybe not. Well, it was. It's, it's definitely like a new GPS thing, isn't it? So, oh. You call Ms. McPherson? Yes, I need you to guard the door in case Vaclav Kolar shows up here. Description? About 5'8", black hair, glasses, and he has a scar on his face. Mm. Okay, I'll call in if he shows up. All right. Thanks, Tate. Brilliant. Okay. Well, we'll just leave him to it. Yeah, let's go back down to the 4x4 and, and see where this new location is. Over here, there you go. As long as it doesn't involve lockpicking, I am A-OK. -okay. I'm so sorry about sort of raging out during the uh, the last video, but man, oh man. You kind of have to be there, you have to, you have to attempt the puzzle to realise how bloody annoying it is. You make one wrong move, and you have to start mm, two-thirds of it again. And it's just a bugger. Genuinely took me about 30-35 minutes to do. Right. Red Lantern, apparently. And Miller's already here. I think I might have screwed up. Oh, really? You didn't try your tough guy routine, did you? I might have, yes. <laughs> he doesn't really look the type. What happened? I only said that I needed to talk to one of the clients. He wouldn't let me in, so I asked him again. This time with some subtle encouragement. Hmm. You mean you flashed your badge in his face, right? That pretty much sums it up, yeah. Then what? He asked for a warrant, so I'm screwed. No way we can find a judge at this time of the night and so close to the holidays. Hmm. Correction, we are screwed. But wait, I might have an idea. Oh? Stay here in case I miss Backlab. You know what he looks like? Yeah. Wait, what are you up to? Just watch the door, I'll be right back. I guess she has her ways. Wow, just look at this place. This is incredible. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. No, um, right. So is there anything we can do outside? We can go to our 4x4, of course. But I think that's about it. Let's just go for the door. A lift? That's see how. Alright, this is the place, is it? This is, uh, this is Red Lantern. Hi there. Sorry, baby, but I need to see your pass! <laughs> I don't have my pass. I was wondering if you could let me in anyways. Then y'all ain't going in. Y'all must be the new girl. It always be the same old motherfucking routine. <laughs> Listen, y'all don't forget your pass. Y'all forget it, y'all don't work. Did you audition for Rush Hour by any chance? You really can't bend the rules just for tonight? Yo, listen up, mama! <laughs> a rule is a rule! It'd be my ass if I let y'all in! I thought they'd brief you! They did, it's just I live really far and it costs me a fortune in cab fare. So take a cab, they pay for it! I'm sure it's not a problem. How would it look to you if you start someplace and you're already asking for money? It doesn't make me look good. Yeah, I see your point, but I still can't let y'all in. Hmm. Okay. How many girls besides me? Four. Are you sure they brief you? Yes, they did. But if you could do it again, that'll be great. Do you like working here? I mean, how is it? Yeah, I like working here. It's not bad at all. Better than where I used to work. I know about my end of things, but on your end, I have to say, y'all should all be asking one of the other girls. Hmm. Well, I gotta head back and get that pass. Sorry about that, but I really got no choice. I understand. Right. So... Is that it? I get. Are we heading back to the campus then? Maybe we need to speak to that woman. I mean, she does work there, right? She probably could help us out. Maybe give us a spare pass or give us hers, maybe? I can borrow it for a bit. Your idea didn't work, I gather. Yes and no. I have to see Mia and try to convince her to give me her pass. Right, okay. Can you stay here and watch the place in case Kohler decides to split? Sure. Can you get me some milk bones while you're at it? Could if you liked. But I think that's a bit of sarcasm, so I won't. Because of your attitude. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go. Back in the 4x4 and, yeah, back to the campus, I suppose. Hasn't really been long since I left this place. She's probably just settled in and locked the door. Hello again, Tate. Right. 
So it's this one right at the end on the left. Oh. Hi. Hi, Mia. You had a change of heart? Sort of. I need a favor. Even better. Come on in. All right. Hello? Yes, okay. I'll be right down. Really? I have to go downstairs for a second. Make yourself at home. Convenient. But Mia, all I need is... I won't be long, promise. She'll just be long enough so you can rummage around and steal the pass, right? Okay, kind of looks similar to the apartment next door, really. Okay, whereabouts is it? All right, we have a phone. Interesting. She has a five grand television, but she has a dial phone. Well, after spending five grand on a television, you can't afford another phone. <laughs> That's kind of the way it works. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, what's that? Is that another television? No, that's... I don't know what that is. It looks like it, half of an apple. It does, doesn't it? Okay. All right. Uh, we've... Hang on. One of these books I want to have a look at. Foucault's Pendulum. Now that's a great book. I will take your word for it. There is something laying on the bed down here. And a much more modern nice phone. Bed. Yeah, but what's on it? Here we go. Oh, a photo album? All right. I wonder where that was taken. Hey, this looks like the girl whose photo we found in the body. Really? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, what was that? There was something underneath the photo. No, no, don't leave. Look at the... F Never mind. Mia, who is this? Oh, that's Steph. Oh, shit. I was supposed to meet her to do another portrait of her. Where were you going to meet her? Why? What's wrong? Just tell me where. Mm. Uh, at my studio, 4455 Beauregard. Okay, I know the place. Please, Vic, what's going on? No time to explain. Just stay here. Don't move. Hmm, shit. Okay. Uh, I guess we want her under protective custody or something like that, right? So, right, we have another GPS location to go to, so back to the 4x4. There's a lot of back and forth in this chapter, it seems. Okay. Yeah, okay, we have a sixth dot now, right in the center. And that is... Richard's, Richard's Gallery, okay. Right. Uh, another unbelievably decadent place, by the looks of it. Is this what all the buildings look like in Chicago? Oh. Okay, we can go to the left. Do we want to go to the left? Let's try and go to the left. Maybe there's going to be a problem with the front door or something. Maybe we, um, we have to... Ah, yeah, maybe we have to get in through the back or something. Go around the building, possibly? Locked. I better go find Richard. Right. Wasn't... Huh, okay. Well, let's try the front door. Do I know Richard? Was Richard the, the guy on the phone? R hey, Richard. Hey, I've seen Hi, you honey. in the cutscene. Ah, have you finally come to see the exhibition? No, not really. I need you to open the gate outside. I have to get into one of the studios. Right. Sure, but why? I finally have a lead in my case. And it's in one of my studios? <laughs> What's going on? Yes, well, it's a person who might know the killer and she's inside. I really need to talk to her. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, that's a funny coincidence, and that was a weird little glitch. Uh, is Richard involved, I wonder? Look at these paintings. Huh. Art is definitely a theme in this game, isn't it? I would have appreciated you taking interest <laughs> this in this looks my like work. shit. Oh my god. Vic. What? Shit. <sighs> Holy hell. Look at that blood! Uh, Mia? Oh my god! No! Mia! What did I say? Don't Wait. move! Shit! I have to stay here to secure the scene. Call the police and go find Mia. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we've got a sixth victim now. W were we just a little bit too late or what? Oh, hang on, what's this? Is that a handbag? Almost ah, hang on. Ooh, yes! What have we got here? Red Lantern member, Stephanie Wallace. Okay. Right, well, I guess I can use her pass, right? 
Brilliant. Anything else in there? No? What's this? The rose is under the lift. There's a rose? I can't reach it. Oh, okay, there's a there's a <laughs> there's a rose of all things under a lift. That's fine. There's nothing else in the bag though, right? Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, let's let's back away. Um, let's. Uh, can we go in the lift and not use it? Can we press the button and hop out or something? That'll be a no. Um, well, let's 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 go back down. Let's have a look at the body and everything. I don't know. I'll, I guess the lift has to be up for us to have a look at that rose. Let's just have another look at it. The rose is under the lift. Yeah. I can't reach it. Bizarre. Bizarre. Anyway, yeah, let's see. This way? I suppose we want to go this way, don't we? Towards the body. Yeah, okay. Woo! It's almost like a work of art. Wow. Was it a sinner's it's written, pardon? A sinner's pardon. And, oh no. Is that another photo? What is it of? What, what does that say on the back? I think it said something like, she's next. Who's that? Oh boy. Uh, yeah, let's actually have a look at it, shall we? So... Oh, it's Mia! Mia's next? Is that what it said? Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, she's next. There you go. <laughs> Just that little flash, and I figured it out. Uh, right. Sorry, Stephanie. I should have taken that shot. Damn it! If it wasn't for those birds. Okay, and these. It's written, a sinner's. Oh no! I thought you were talking about the cans. Anything else? I'm really sorry, Stephanie. No. I should have taken that shot. Damn it! Oh, uh, well, there you go. What about the rest of this? We've got easels, a statue, a bust of something, chemicals, paint. It looks like. Nothing over here. No. All right, we can go that way. Apparently, sort of follow Mia. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. She's probably freaking out. Nice one, Victoria. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's pick up the chain then, shall we? Okay. Now, what do I combine it with? Oh, we don't. We don't use it here? No, we don't use it here. And apparently I can't use this. I guess because I broke it. I, got, I can't really fix it. I don't have the right tools. Um, yeah, alright. Uh, can the... Maybe the chain can help me with the rose? I'm not really sure. I think that's pretty much all we got, to be honest. Let's see. So... Okay, so an item can be used here. Yeah. The rose is under the lift. I can't reach it. Yeah, I don't know exactly what I was going to try and do with the chain, but I just thought I'd try it. Using all the other things, that doesn't make much sense. Um, uh, well, let's... Can we go up? And then go around? We were trying to get the back gates open, right? So maybe if we go out and around, the lift will be up. We can come in through the side from the outside. Maybe the chain's only broken on the one side, you know? Let's see. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. That way? Yeah, it's got to be, hasn't it? I can't use it. Richard left with the keys. Son of a bitch, he locked me in? So I'm trapped here? <laughs> what? Fuck. I wonder if that's intentional. Maybe I know too much. Maybe Richard wants to silence me. Okay. Wait, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. There was something around here. There was something around here I could use something. Here. Ah. Oh. It's a hook. Probably to lower down crates and whatnot. I see. The chain? Ah, there you go. Nicely done. And just slip down or slide down. There you go. All right. Now we should be able to get that rose, right? Just hopefully no one uses the lift. All right. What's up with that thing? It's a silver rose. A rose made of silver. Okay. Anything odd about it, other than the fact that it's made of silver? I don't think so, to be honest. Hmm. Okay. 
Uh, and that is that. There's no other roses, no other flowers or anything like that. Uh, right. Okay, how do I get back up? Where's the chain? Do I, is it over here somewhere? Browning. Who? Oh. Why wasn't I informed? Don't bother, I'll tell her. Okay. Agent McPherson, Miller has a Vaclav Kolar in for questioning. Why wasn't I informed of this suspect? Because I really don't think he's relevant to the investigation. Well, your partner seems to think otherwise. Anyway, he's waiting for you at the office. Right, so... Wait, I, I'm back on the case? I mean, this isn't unofficial anymore, this is official. Uh, did do you remember the conversation we had in your office? <laughs> uh, right, uh, let's speak to Claire. What's going on here? Hey, sweetie. Busy now, but come back later. I'll have more for you. Okay. Maybe we'll have to do some forensics or something. Um, yeah, let's let's speak to the big boss man over here. Agent McPherson, your partner is waiting for you. Alright, let's go speak to my partner then. So he's back at the office. Is that Tate again? Yo, Miss McPherson. Y'all don't let that asshole Brownie get to you. I'll try. Okay, so there you go. Uh, is this... What we sort of saw into the back of, are we going to be sort of emerging at the gates here? Ah, right, they're open now. Big old billboard, nothing I can use though, another car. Maybe Richards, I don't know. Um, nothing here that I can use, apparently. Alright, let's just get back to the car, shall we? So, this way. But maybe I'll tell you what. Where, where's Richard? Why did he lock me in? I want to. I want to have a bit of a conversation with him. Can we go back inside? It. All right. Oh, is that Mira as well? Okay. Right. Hi there. Oh. Okay. Richard. Yeah. Is she okay? Not really. Okay. Listen. Try and comfort her as much as you can. I have to go to the office, but keep Mia here and don't let her out of your sight. Can you do that for me, please? She's important for my case. Sure, honey. It's not a problem. Thanks. See you later. Hmm, alright. Yeah, what's this? Alright, have a look at the computer. Bit of a slideshow, it looks like. Hang on. It's me! <laughs> okay. Why don't I just take my photo? Picture of Victoria. Was there anything on the back of it, just out of interest? I keep checking. <laughs> no? Uh, alright. Anything else on the desk? No? Don't want to play with this phone or anything? Don't want to steal a pen? Uh, right. Can we have a look around this gallery area? Before we go back? I kind of want to, because we did just sort of... We got a brief tour, didn't we? Oh, can we go in there? Oh no, that's this little area here. Right, let's see. Okay, let's have a look at the works of art over here. Maybe we can find something familiar to us. I don't know. <laughs> this is where I figure out this is this is meant to be like 1920s Prague, isn't it? What about this one over here? Mm, someone in a prison cell, maybe? M.A.? Right, okay. Oh, didn't Richard mention there was uh, there was a guy called Mark something? Is is this his work? M A, I guess so. Right, looks like outsider art to be honest. This is kind of weird. All right, yeah, all M A, all Mark. Ah, uh, ah. I want to say it's Ataman or something like that. What the hell? All right, and finally, there's one over here. And we can proceed? Alright. Oh, nice boat. Okay. Uh, doesn't seem to fit the theme with the others. And through here, yeah? Oh, right, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get lost in this place. Let's just see. Presumably more of M.A.'s work. Of course, of course. Okay. Uh, I saw that, didn't I? On the, on the computer screen. Right, so he's already made it a desktop wallpaper. Okay. <laughs> Is that meant to be Gus, by any chance? <laughs> maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Huh. 
Huh. That's a funny coincidence. What's that piece called? Fifth Victim? Something like that? No? Weird. And that is apparently as far as we go. We can't go back down the same corridor that we, uh, we went through in the in the tour, in the cutscene. So, um, yeah. Uh, back here, I suppose. Back this way. And let's finally go meet Miller at the office. Hey, Victoria, over here. Ah, right. He's in there now. What happened? A new murder? Pretty much. Right. I don't think it's him. Is it? Hi, Vaclav. I believe you've met Detective Miller? Yes. Uh, am I in trouble or something? Well, sort of, yeah. Hmm. I've done nothing wrong. I guess we'll see about that. Can you tell me where you were three nights ago? Yes, I was probably working on my thesis. Probably? I assume because that's all I do. Or tutor students to make ends meet. That's how you met Natalie? Yes, I was her tutor at the university, and that's all. Let me show you a picture of Natalie. Did you do that to her, Vaclav? No, I didn't do anything to her. It's different when you know the person, isn't it? Maybe you should reconsider how you decorate your room. <laughs> Tell me how you met Natalie. Did you drown her before eviscerating her? I didn't do that to her! <sighs> so how did you meet her? I saw her ad on the school bulletin board. What about Cynthia? How did you meet her? You killed Cynthia the same way you killed Natalie, huh? I told you, I digging. met her at Mia's party. Right. Then how come we have partial prints at Natalie's crime scene and Cynthia's crime scene that match your prints at a 99% probability? Do you have a did twin? Did Cynthia resist? Is that why you beat her up so bad? I didn't do anything to her! I get why Natalie would have parcels of you, but Cynthia? Something doesn't fit. Hmm. You hired her, right? What? Relax, Vaclav. I just want to know what happened between you two. Oh. <laughs> yes, I did. I mean, yes, I hired her. Hmm, okay. Cynthia worked at the same place where you were picked up tonight, right? Yes. Mia and Cynthia worked there, but they didn't work the baths or do massages. What did they do? They worked in a special club. Only certain members have access to another room. Okay. What is this place? A brothel? Sounds like it. I don't know. I never went, but I know that I saw some important people. Important That's people. enough. You're free to go, Mr. Cola. <laughs> and I bet he's one of those important people. <laughs> That's it? Why? <laughs> Thanks for the wave. What the fuck was that? Yeah. What was that, Detective Miller? Why are we letting him go? On what grounds? He's definitely not a suspect. The prints are a match, but they're circumstantial evidence. I'm out of here. Wait, <laughs> Agent McPherson. No, you wait a goddamn minute, Browning. Prints are not circumstantial evidence, you idiot! Oh, shit. Uh, maybe he's gonna have a talk in the office pretty soon. Can we go back in? I want to see their slinging match, to be honest. I better leave these two at each other's throats. <laughs> okay, alright. Um... Interesting. So, several of the girls worked... At that place. Well, we gotta go back there, haven't we? Because now we've got the pass for this... Yeah, the Red Latin Club. The Red Lantern Club. Yeah, let's uh, let's head back there. All right, take two. I, I I've got a pass. I know it doesn't have my name or my face on it, but you know, can we? Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's uh, try it. No. Not a good idea. He won't let me in unless I show him a pass. Well, I just tried to do that. I guess it's not good enough. I have a photo. Have a. Oh. Well, this isn't gonna work. I'll try it anyway. No. Can we? Ah. Yes. Combine? Maybe it's not as simple as that. Maybe it's not as simple as that. Can we, um, let's just take a look at this again. Can we actually interact with anything here? Or, oh no, just move it around. What? Does that say the weird Al Yankovic video library or something like that? I think it says something like that. Uh, yeah, okay. So, there's that. Is that... Oh, man. I was probably... Oh, I think we'll have to go back to the office. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> I'll be back in a minute, mate. Just you wait right there. You'll have to make more. 
No, I bloody won't. Hey, Miller. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Where do you work? Maybe she forgot. Sorry, baby, but I need to see your pass. <laughs> Are you sure they brief you? Yes, they did. But if you could do it again, that'll be great. Oh my god. Vic. What? Shit. <sighs> Holy hell. Look at that blood. You killed Cynthia the same way you killed Natalie, huh? <laughs> I told just you, I met her at Mia's party. I never went, but I know that I saw some important people. Important That's people. enough. You're free to go, Mr. Cole. <laughs> and I bet he's one of those important people. 